medieval special. I like medieval stuff. Get it destroyed because I'm about to get dirty up in here. Ugh. <laughs> Hello, good morning. I was telling Raphael, if he likes to do stuff like that, he can be an engineer. Trying to get him interested in being an engineer because there's lots of stuff that he could do. I'm going to show you how I got this. This is not free for all. It started as this. Add this to the grid. It's not focusing. Add all this to grid. And here's what I got. Sometimes this just doesn't go. There we have it. Super hard mode complete. Bye. Look at my beautiful necklace from Alice. I really, really, well I love purple and green together, but I really love this shade of green. It's like a, it's like a sage green. I would definitely paint my kitchen in it. You know what? I have these drawers here and I need to put, I have my shoes in the bottom, but I need to put my um, tools in them because this is what I got out here to put my tools in. And I got another box of stuff to do and another box of the kids stuff like water guns and all of their like bug finding kits and stuff. I got to clean this porch off again. Again, because it's our dropping zone. You come in, you drop it here. I got boxes that I need to store out in the building and storage. Yeah, just a bunch of stuff in here. But this is where we take our shoes off. Hopefully we take our shoes off and then we go in the house. I have to take back a wig that I bought that was not for me. Did test it out. I didn't test it out thoroughly, but I did wear it for like, I don't know, a good while. I bought another one of the wigs that was perfect because I'm gonna start wearing it. I just need to figure out how to put it on easily because it gets all tangled when I'm trying to put it on. I don't know how to do it so I need to figure that out. Got our bags from shopping last time. Gotta put them in the car and also I want to put the mat in the car so if we go to like a picnic area we can sit on the mat instead of on the ground so there's a bunch of worms and stuff out right now what do you think this is hello instagram sucks yeah i mean it could be i doubt it though but yeah it's an easy way to remember something and make a make a word out of it instagram sucks all right we're at the ups store and there are so many Amazon packages going back to this place. It's so unfortunate that we have to, you know, send stuff back online, but it's so convenient. That's the world that we live in today. Like this guy, he sent back, like, he's went to his car four times to get these great big packages. Um, it looks like he's buying for his business or something, some kind of medical devices. <laughs> Medtronics. I don't know what that is. It's a medical device. Anyway. Hadar's going to come back out. Hopefully he didn't have to pay anything. It says you don't have to pay, but a couple of times they've charged me for a label. So I have a lot of work to do in here. I'm going to make each one of these boxes. They go up underneath of the bed, and I'm going to make them hold things that we need seasonally, like birthday gift bags and stuff like that. Um, some wrapping paper that are in pieces. I have the other rolls underneath the couch and behind the couch. That's where I keep it. So swimsuits, things like that, that we are only going to use seasonally. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, some medical supplies like my wrapping stuff, my leg wrapping stuff that I only use occasionally. Um, 
I love all the clothes that I have in my closet because I bought them not too long ago. I went on a very long, all day long uh, shopping spree at Goodwill and I tried on every single thing that I thought would fit me and that I liked. So I do like all the clothes that I have. Um, I do have some clothes that I need to repair. Some clothes like skirts that had slits in them that I didn't realize were too exposing. So I need to like sew that up a little bit. But for the most part, I want to put the storage up underneath of the bed of the stuff that we use seasonally that can't go outside because it'll get destroyed. It'll get like mildewy or I don't know. It won't be nice. This room is so tiny. I can't express to you how we have never had a room that was actually a good size. But you put two pieces literally of furniture in here and it takes up the whole room. We have a dresser, two dressers, a big tall one and a long wide one. We got another dresser just for the overflow of clothes. Right now we have like workout clothes. I ain't working out. That's probably not going to happen for a long time. We got like workout clothes that I don't need right now and we got you know just swimsuits in my drawers that I could be using for clothes that I wear all the time so it needs to be space that's better suited for what it is. I'm gonna clean off my bed. I got a bunch of blankets in here. Again, seasonal stuff. Uh, I love my throw blankets. We have to use them at night because Hadar freezes me out in the air conditioning. So I need to store them better because the way I fold them on the couch, I don't like. It's not, it's not pretty, but they're usable and we use them every day. So I want them accessible. So I have to figure that out. I don't know. I do have a little like cloth basket that they would probably look good in that I could sit next to the couch and that would like hide it. But I'm pretty sure if I had that full of blankets, you know, just like three throw blankets that we use every night, pretty sure that Kitty would have something to do with that basket all day long for about 12 hours a day. Like this. I was supposed to put this up in like seasonal clothes because it's, you know, a winter sweater. Now I'm going to have to wash it again because Kitty been laying on it. Yikes. Abigail has been putting her feet up here. She'll watch this tablet that I have here. But yeah, she's been putting her feet up on there and I got to wash this wall and eventually cuz see how it's like a I don't know if you can really tell it's like a peach color we're going to change it you know to more of like a oatmeal color a little lighter than that um but you see all these holes all of these holes you don't really notice it I mean I notice it but you don't notice like the 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 weather situation and the temperature in the house situation if you just seal that up. So part of the reason why I bought a bunch of wood. Oh, I put my necklace up so I don't want to get it destroyed because I'm about to get dirty up in here. Ugh. The reason why I bought all that wood, I bought extra, was to put above here because they didn't put they put crown molding all in the important parts of the house like the main part of the house but in the bedrooms there's no crown molding and i don't necessarily want or need crown molding but i got some real thin strips it's like furring strips uh one by no it's like five eighths in, i don't know it's real thin it looks like like a yardstick but it's four foot long instead of three i want to do you see where they overlapped the wallpaper it's pretty obvious so I want to do like just a board all the way down everywhere where it's overlapping and maybe across to make like a big checkerboard but I don't want to lose the space in my room by having a thick one inch thick board I don't want to lose an inch of my space I want to be able to butt my bed right up against the wall because we don't have that much space so I want to trim this all out, caulk it all up, make it sh make sure it's sealed, air sealed. Just get all of the th all of the house sealed. The I don't even think you can see it. You might because the camera is really really good, but let me see. I want to make sure I'm pointing it right at that. Do you see the ceiling? The ceiling got fixed, and I was like really struggling with that because it kept falling off. It's like rolling off with my roller. Don't roll the drywall compound for some reason. I mean, I could any other time, but 
the last two batches of drywall compound, I can't roll it with paint. You have to paint it with a paintbrush. So if you're going to do repair like that and it starts rolling off on you, just get a paintbrush and go slow and paint it on. So anyway, that's what I want to do with this wall. And I think it would like make it so pretty. And I'll just paint. This is paintable wallpaper. It's a really nice wallpaper. That's why I have not taken it down because it's really nice. I just don't like how it's very obvious here and it's never been painted before it was just put up it's got a really nice texture on it i mean she put in really good really pretty stuff and i can see where she was going with it um because it is a really really pretty thing and then she put the tin on the backsplash and i also think that that looked pretty good i still have that tin i'm not getting rid of it i'm going to use it somewhere else but yeah, I like this, but I think it can be elevated just a little bit by just putting the strips and making like the cross hatch square pattern. I love that behind a bed, but again, I don't have a lot of space in here. We have, I have like 14 inches, 15 inches to walk on this side of my bed to get in my bed. And I have just a very small like nightstand where I can put all my stuff. I love this nightstand. I got it at Big Lots. It's metal and like, you know, the composite wood, but it's really, really good. It's like, it's like a card file. They, they didn't even call it a nightstand, but I'm using it as a nightstand. I put it in here. We were, we got it originally for our computer so we could put like our papers and stuff in it. Okay. So they're fixing to eat dinner. Um, so yeah, I really like this. It's got six drawers in it and they don't sell this anymore i bought them for 69 a piece had coupons had waited until they had 15 or 20 percent off of their entire store so i got it at a reasonable price but i told dar go get another one while you're there because this is just it's perfect for our tables they're small and they are bed height so and it goes with the the rest of our furniture which we got at the uh, ASPCA or whatever um, thrift store. Yeah, I just need to, I'm storing stuff in drawers where I should be storing daily items. I'm storing them seasonally and I shouldn't do that. I need to put them under the bed because <laughs> that's the only place I have to store anything. So I need to get that done. I have a project coming up that requires me to cut that. I don't really want to, but it does. Um, I'm going to use this picture and this like that. Let me know if you can figure out what I'm going to try to make. And I bought this at the Dollar Tree. And this is, it's like a very stiff, it's twisted poly rope. And it's in a cord and it is 25 foot long. So I got this to try to make fancy corded braid or whatever around cabinets, around the front of my cabinets. Because I'm also going to take that little wood, and you'll see it when I try to do it. I'm going to try to do it. Uh, I'm going to take that little wood and put it around my cabinets, make them shaker style, and then I'm going to try. I'm not going to say it's going to look good. I'm going to try to put this on the inside of it to make it look fancy and then paint the entire thing and then put like a, like an age on it, a little darker on the rope to make it look, I don't know, medieval special. I like medieval stuff. I like, uh, I like the old world, like French old world Tuscan, like walls and stuff. Um, fresco walls, I think it's called. I really like that. Uh, it's not something that I can easily do. So anytime I can find something that I like that would look good. Um, I also got these. They're dish. They're to go in the bottom of your sink. I thought this would make an excellent thing to paint to make it look kind of like a grate. Now, it's a grate pattern. G-R-A-T-E. And I thought maybe that I could spray paint it to go along with my project of this, which you will see. 
if I if I'm able to complete it. But we'll see. Got a bunch of stuff there. It's probably like a five dollar project that I've I love and I've always wanted to have. But we'll see if I can pull it off. I have to really make it look like it's real. But I mean, I'm gonna be spray painting a plastic mat, so might not even work. We'll see. I got to get to putting stuff in bins because that's how you organize. You buy a bunch of bins and you put it in there and then you put it under your bed and that's how you organize stuff. I've watched a lot of videos and I can tell you for sure that that's exactly how you organize stuff. I have watched um, the home edit and literally that's all they do. <laughs> Don't tell me. Like the closet, they'll make everything rainbow all the way down and I've done that with the books and they look amazing um, I started doing that a couple years ago and then Raphael keeps it up like every time he sees that like Abigail doesn't put the books up he'll he'll fix them one time it took him like an hour to redo the entire thing and he did a really good job he fit he fixed it so I want to also have some lights some bookcase lights but I cannot figure out. So I put these bookcase lights. Raphael has three of them. So you have three. And they have long wires. And they go on a cubby bookcase or a bookcase. One here, one here, one here. There's three of them and they can connect. Uh, you can connect more than one set. Because they have like connectors like this. And I do not know how to do it on a regular bookcase. Because I want probably like three on one and three on another. I have two bookcases in here and I would love to put these lights on there, but I, I literally cannot figure that out. Whoever figures stuff like that out and can work it is a genius, but you can buy stuff like this on Amazon. It's so cheap. Inexpensive. It's so inexpensive, but yeah, stuff like that. I just want to like upgrade what I have, get rid of stuff that I don't need and haven't used for a year or two years. And that's basically what I've been doing when I worked my way up from the bathroom all the way to here. I'm here now in my bedroom and it's like this. And plus Easter's coming up. By this time when I have this video edited, it's probably going to be after Easter. I have no idea. But Easter's coming up so I have a bag of Easter stuff that I want to put together for the kids. And uh, yeah. Right now, I'm just delaying work by talking. You aren't subscribed yet? Please subscribe and like. Comment and share. Fully living. <laughs> beard wash. Oh my god. Yeah, you know you gotta you gotta wash, wash your beard, beard sometimes. And our golem and the king and queen. <laughs> okay. <laughs>